Hello and welcome. This is CTV News. My name is Mbosuwo Udwaoba. President Bola Tinubu has assured the South South Monarch that the development of the Niger Delta will be given priority attention. The royal fathers, led by the chairman of Delta State Traditional Rulers Council, the Oroje of Okbe Kingdom, Major General Felix Mujeperu, visited the State House to seek the presidential intervention for the welfare of the people and physical development for their region. They also requested for the creation of employment opportunities for youth, completion of the East-West Route and the Itakbe Abuja Railway. They also drew the attention of the president to the dilemma of the all-rich region, stating that despite being the mainstay source of the nation's economy, the region was lacking the necessary infrastructures. They further called for the resuscitation of the abandoned ports in the region, adding that it will facilitate employment for the people and also improve the economy of the country. In his remarks, the president assured the monarchs that his administration was working to strengthen Nigeria, provide infrastructural development while also ensuring security and stability in the region. And now the federal government through the Bureau of Public Enterprises is currently carrying out transactions for the sale of five power plants under the National Integrated Power Project at a cost of about $1.15 billion. The Acting Director General Ignatius Ayewo noted that the transaction is still ongoing and hasn't been brought to a conclusion yet. According to the Bureau, the five power plants include the 434-megawatt gas-fired Jeregu 2 power plant located in Kogi, the 451-megawatt Omotosho 2 plant in Ondo, 750-megawatt Olorun Shogo 2 plant in Ogun State, the 563 megawatt Odupani power plant in Calabar, Cross River State, and the 451 megawatt Benin Ihobo plant in Edo State. It was gathered that the Omoto Show plant, which has four power generating turbines, will be sold at about $85 million, while the Olorun Shogu NIPP, with also four turbines, will cost $170 million. The Benin Ihovo plant with five power generating turbines will go for $420 million and the Calabar or Dupani plant with five turbines will be sold at about $260 million while the Jerugu plant with four turbines will go for $215 million. The official further stated that it will cost about $1 million to construct a plant that could generate one megawatt of electricity. The federal, state and local government has shared 1.127 trillion naira from the 1.674 trillion naira of the collectible revenue in December 2023. The figures were made available after the Federation Account Allocation Committee meeting which was held yesterday. This is making the second consecutive month the revenue shared from the central purse crossed the 1 trillion mark. The revenue was first shared in September 2023. From the 655.932 billion naira shared in May, the revenue has been going up since after the removal of petrol subsidy. According to analysts, the figures is a reflection of the nation's economic upward movement and also an opportunity for government at all levels to ensure growth and development. Economists have predicted that with increased revenue, the people should begin to get the dividends of democracy especially at the state and local government level. And now the oil marketers under the aegis of the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria have berated the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited for alleged delay in the supply of petroleum products. The National Vice President of Ibman, Hamed Fashila, has asked the federal government to review the current distribution pattern with a view to giving priority to Ipman members. According to him, independent marketers own 80% of the filling stations in Nigeria and as such deserve huge share in fuel allocation. Fashula also stated that after paying for petroleum products, it takes two to three months before NNPCL delivers, and sometimes their money is trapped while they struggle to get fuel. 
According to him, marketers have been forced to boycott the NNPCL to buy from private depot owners at a higher cost. He lamented that some marketers who borrowed from banks could not pay back their loans, thereby forcing operators to put off their stations for sale in order to offset their debts. The U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has reiterated the Americans' commitment to investing in the Nigeria's economy. He disclosed this at a news brief after his meeting with the president. Blinken, who is on an African nation tour, stated that American entrepreneurs and companies are eager to partner with and invest in Nigeria, especially in the tech sector. According to him, there are tech giants that have teamed up with the Nigerian partners to help the president in achieving the One Million Digital Jobs Initiative with the venture capital companies working to finance and drive Nigeria's technological revolution, which aims at creating jobs. Blinken also noted that the aim is to grow businesses and foster innovation between both countries while noting the significant role of Nigeria in the development of partnership between America and the African continent. He however stated that as much as America seeks collaboration from strengthening bilateral ties with Nigeria, the country must continue to tackle challenges affecting businesses. Moving to the business scene, despite facing challenges associated with low dollar liquidity, Naira has demonstrated resilience by rebounding after a two-day loss, driven by a moderation in demand observed on Tuesday at the official foreign exchange market. Following the trading activities, data from the FMDQ revealed that the Naira experienced a notable 5.32% recovery against the US dollar. The dollar was quoted at 878.61 Naira, showing a significant improvement from the 925.34 Naira recorded on Monday at the Nigerian Autonomous Foreign Exchange Market. The shift in dynamics suggests a more balanced exchange scenario, contributing to the Naira's positive performance in the market. The daily turnover in the foreign exchange market experienced a significant 20.28% decline, falling to $58.46 million on Tuesday compared to the $73.33 million recorded on Monday. And that is all on the news. Kindly follow us on all our socials. My name is Mbosowo Hudawaba. Thanks for watching.